Hello everyone. In this three-part video series, I'm going to be 3D printing, painting, and polishing a model of the Mark IV Toyota Supra. Over here, I'm using Ultimaker Cura, which is one of the best slicing softwares out there. This software allows you to create area blocks inside an object, which lets you change any setting within that area. I used infill density as some parts like the mirror and spoiler need to be reinforced, while the inside of the model doesn't. It could be, but that would need about 100 more meters of filament. The printer I'm using is the Anycubic i3 Mega S. It's fairly cheap at about $250, but offers extremely good print results. It comes with many spare parts including an extra print head in case that goes bad. The S version offers a recovery option in case of a power outage mid-print, so I highly recommend it as a first print. As you can see here, I'm creating small pockets of higher density settings for the mirrors. I did 80% infill, but should have gone with 100%. The rest of the print was at 8%, which I found to be a sweet spot, but made the shell thickness 12mm. This is to make sure that nothing cracks as I'm applying pressure while sanding. And here's the preview. I used raft so that I can minimize layer lift due to the difference in temperature with the ambient air. It's not that hard to remove, especially since the printer is good enough to do it. In order to reduce the difference in temperature between the ambient air and the print, I constructed a simple cardboard box that slides over the 3D printer. This greatly improved my prints as it trapped most of the heat radiated from the nozzle. Depending on whether you print with a layer resolution of 0.1 or 0.2 millimeters, you will have more or less sanding to do to the surface so that it becomes level. My mirrors and spoiler broke off, but that's fine by me as this whole project is just practice. I did replace the spoiler with a replacement made from sheet plastic. When sanding, you must be careful of the direction. If you sand upward against the layer, there is a chance it might peel. If there is too big of a gap because of a shallow angle, misprint, or layer separation, use a filler as it's not going to look nice after painting if you sand away that spot. I use fiberglass body filler because that's what I had. I ended up using a sharp knife to detail the edges and corners that disappeared with all the sanding. When done, you should use a higher grit sandpaper, somewhere between 200 and 400, to further sand down the model. If you use too low of a grit, the paint will appear rough when you are done. Too high, and the primer won't stick properly. In the end, the whole model should be generally smooth to the touch. In the next part of the series, I will be applying the multiple coats of primer, paint, and clear coat. Thank you for watching.